everyone, Dash Attack here, and today we're going to be looking at two different CBR articles. One of them was brought to my attention from one of my fans, Mr. Anime343, Rev's husband. Good subscriber. Shout out to them. So yeah, they alerted me that CBR had a hit piece out on old anime. You know, see, every once in a while, CBR comes with their terrible hot takes, showing what a fake geek website they truly are. But upon searching for the article myself, I stumbled upon this. A different article written a couple of months prior by a different author expressing almost the, a different opinion about... So one is about why old anime is great. The other about why old anime is evil and problematic. We're going to be looking at both articles. So let's look at the bad first. So top 10. Not all classics age well. Like any medium that relies on technology, animation is bound to change as means to use to create it, it progresses. Classic anime series use traditional cell or hand-drawn animation, which shows today have long since transitioned to digital. And while the animation is responsible for iconic smooth aesthetics of Akira and Royal Space Wars, not every show back then had the budget and technique capacities to achieve the same visual quality. Most classic anime look choppy and static, making it hard on the eyes on a rewatch. And I don't think themes in older shows aged even less graciously. Trends will always impact what kind of shows do well with fans. Today's anime landscape would be Bear without fantasy, isekai, and hit dark shonen series. The era of classics was also defined by its fleeting trends and their relevance to modern audiences is questioned. From mecha-dominated 80s to self-referential slice-of-life mo-boom of early 2000s, classics don't stand at the test of time in their thematic focus today. Even old school fans might struggle to understand Lucky Star's time sensitive appeal or grasp of innovation of Gunbuster. Huh. And here you have old style styles are more charming. Well oh, that, that that that's almost like the exact opposite of what the other article says. The use of cell shade animation produces better results. Again, almost the opposite of the opinion. Old school series were were groundbreaking and paved the way for future titles. Okay, so this one's in an accessibility each issue, which is funny because I'm watching Space Adventure Cobra easily on Pluto TV, and it's also free on YouTube. So there's plenty of ways to watch old anime. They've made it available. Old school classics are way too pretentious. Oh, that's funny. Everything feels like it's done before, even if it was only popularized after. No, because it's older, it has the excuse to get away with tropes that might... Okay, now this article's pissing me off. It's a miracle to stumble upon completed classics. Cub Legends of the Galactic... Most older series were OVAs or... One season adaptations that never saw much deserved continuation. Those who wanted to know how Battle Angel Alita descended in the Sons of Darkness or Cairo Ka Kara Oriha 
and it had no choice but to turn to the source material. Most fans of classic lost all hope of getting a sequel for their favorite shows, yet the examples of Trigon Stampede and Fruit Baskets makes dreams of reboots feel attainable. Like-minded fans are hard to come by. Ideas of good pacing used to be different. Nostalgia can be deceptive. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The fond memories of fans of classics I may have of their favorite old school shows are often rose tinted. However, revisiting one's adolescence favorites can be more disappointing than rewarding. Instead of rediscovering the magic that made the classic anime impossible to put down back in the day, fans suddenly see how predictable Speed Racer's silly plots are, how poorly the original Dragon Ball treated its female characters, how much filler was in Trigun. Sometimes nostalgia can be cruel deceptive in its distortion of one's pleasant memories. Nothing will ever compare. No matter how far anime advances, there's a reason why classics are regarded as such. The tangible impact left by likes of Akira, Evangelion and Mobile Suit Gundam shaped the anime landscape known by modern fans. While anime will continue... Well, wait, so... What the hell? The, 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 this, this article is bipolar. What was this... Like, central themes aging poorly. Older things have more originality. Niche genres get more in time in the spotlight. Old school anime puts more focus on storytelling than visuals. Old school anime characters are more iconic. Older anime emphasize quality over quantity. Old school anime series are often more memorable. Nostalgia makes old school titles even better. This 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 article has the exact opposite opinion of the other article. Oh my god, this is like this is so inconsistent. Yeah, I get they're just opinion pieces, but it's kind of interesting having two different com opinion pieces competing with each other. And one of them like switches to pro anime. I at the last minute. Ah, oh, this is nuts. Like, wow. So yeah, I hate when people try and attack old things to prop up a new thing. It seems to be like the go-to thing. What's weird is this article is praising like the old things and then where this one is trying to tell you why, why the old things are all like, oh, you shouldn't care about it. It's so bizarre. I don't get, I don't get it. I, I don't get this at all. Well, maybe you get it. What do you guys think about CBR's inconsistent takes on anime? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you all next time.